Dude, there's such a huge difference between like live comming and streaming, and live comming just pisses me off a lot. But I do it because it's fun, and I feel like I'm talking to the fans, you know? I gotta be talking. That's my whole entire purpose, is to communicate with everybody. Pretty much. That's really it. But hey, what's going on, everyone? My name's Hamilton. You guys can call me Hamilton Games. Coming at you with a brand new video today. What we got? Some MX9 fun. Don't even need to hover over my great glass, because I already know what this glass is, man. We got Cosmic Device. For my perks, I got Scavenger, Gung-Ho, and Dead Silence. For my attachments on my MX-9, I run Primary Gunfighter, I rock Elo Sight, Rapid Fire, Long Barrel, and Stock. See how this one goes, man? Hoping to have some fun. Something, please, for the love of God, because apparently every person's sweating on Wednesday night, and just recording this has just, it's been a struggle. It's honest to God, been a struggle. We had, like, two good games, and then from there, man. And... I've been trying to cover a topic for a really, really good amount of time now, and I don't know how to word it correctly without sounding like an idiot myself, so we'll just talk about it, and whatever we go is what we go, and we'll see how you guys judge the class setup, or somebody can actually, like, this would be fun, if you guys want to use the same class setup, and then hop on pubs, and do better than me, and then send it to me, and then I could talk about that in another video, that'd be fun, just like... Uh, people go for the same games or higher kills than I get or whatever and then like See what everyone can show up with that'd be fun have like people I'll get involved with these creative class setup videos That would actually be really, really 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 cool. So we have to do a brand new lobby pretty much Let me see how we do we're playing uh, how's the end of this maps called or something like that I'm gonna talk about the brand new DLC for all ps4 players at the moment coming to Xbox next week Dude, I don't want. I don't know where to start with this update because there's a lot I don't know about it. There could be like a lot that changes. It's a whole lot of shit that could happen that I don't know what it's gonna come out to be. But I'm scared. I'm scared off of the things I'm hearing, things I've watched. This DLC looks like it's absolute poo poo. They added a brain. They added a brand new specialist, right? I guess they added a couple new guns that you gotta get to the whole entire battle tier thing the whole entire hood version of the fucking battle pass that nobody really cares for this gun shoots me sometimes though man let me tell you about that so they added this uh thing it's supposedly the most awful thing if you're a pub stomper in any way possible or just a person who just uploads content getting high kills and all the fun stuff it basically, it has, it's like an electronics kind of thing. It disables your electronics, destroys electronics and shit like that. I, I don't know, it's, it's just confusing. I've really lost track. But like, why are you aiming the other way? Nope, don't want to talk about that. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. Yeah, so you can pretty much just hack people's score streaks now and make them yours. I'm going to keep it simple. There's no reason to like explain this overly complicated process. It's pathetic. Honest to God, pathetic as a Call of Duty player that somebody who is 20 times worse than you can sit in a corner and wait for this thing to pop up. And when you're dropping your gunship and your strike team and your chopper, they can just take that all away from you. It doesn't matter how you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter your record. It doesn't matter anything, dude. They've just taken, like, every, anything that involves being a skilled player, it just sent it down the shitter. Like, it's terrible. It's not fun. It's not good. It's, it's not gonna be fun. And like people are trying to like defend it and like say it's a good thing. Like thing added into Call of Duty. I'm just like, what the? Are you thinking with your brain? Do you think at all, matter of fact? Like, who would? No, nobody wants this. Nobody asked for this. On every, on everybody, man. I got melted by three different people. But like. This nobody wanted this. You got the CEO game developer, like the main guy behind this whole entire game, sitting on his Twitter page, replying to comments of people They're hating on his like, this thing. And like they're saying, Oh, put the VSAT in. What is a good idea? It'd be nice to have the VSAT in this game. Have it actually like good reliable radar. Rather than the piece of shit UAV they give you for like six hundred points or five fifty, whatever the amount is. I guess what it does, it doesn't do, it doesn't do a thing. It lasts 15 seconds and half the time it gets shot down. So, everything really gets shot down in this game. Streaks are kind of underpowered in my opinion. If you have a rocket launcher and you know how to fucking lock on this shit and actually shoot 
enemy score streaks down they're not that powerful <laughs> like the gunship might be pretty powerful but you can shoot that down if you're running at a party or even like you're playing solo just have a rocket class man you can shoot everything down in, like instance in like a matter of seconds it's embarrassing so they make this thing and they implement it into the game and just like nobody likes it no one and people who do like it don't have brain cells i'm sorry hate to say it but like if you think that going like this the entire game not, not like this i got destroyed but i meant like sitting in the corner like all right i'm just gonna sit right here right and i'm not gonna move because I, I don't need to i don't gotta go out and get kills if i could just hit these two buttons mid game when somebody has a gunship and attack chopper why, fuck, fuck, why do I get to put in the effort? You know, it's like, do people think at these game developing companies do it? It embarrasses me. As a like a player of this franchise, I've been a fan of it for years. It's just like stupid, stupid stuff like this that kills games. It takes the fun out of going for score streaks. I don't know if I finished my Bondo hard point, but he was literally like. Just replying to his own fans with stupid responses like, No, I'm not gonna add the VSAT because the VSAT is not needed in this game because this game has a really, a really, really good radar that everybody, everybody knows because this game is awesome, dude. This game doesn't have any flaws. It's the most perfect Black Ops we ever released. We made sure from our beta to listen to the fans. It's just like Recon doesn't count as a VSAT, by the way. Don't ever call Recon a VSAT. If you do, you're also, you're also brain dead. If you think that this new update is good, you're also brain dead. Like, how else could I word it? If it's really trash. It's really, really terrible. And I pretty much took the whole entire focus of this video off the MX-9 just to talk about how bad- Oh, I didn't see that trip on there. Just to talk about how trash this DLC is. It's the worst thing ever implemented into a COD. Requisitions of World War II is better than this. You guys have your own opinions, man. Leave it down in the comment section below. I'm gonna definitely upload some more MX9 footage soon. Me actually doing good with this thing, cause it's fun to use. I'm just not playing that good, cause I'm really, really frustrated about this update, man. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult to play. It's a stupid update. Honest to God, take it out of the game before it comes to Xbox, or else I'm really not gonna be playing this game for like fun a lot anymore. It sucks, cause I enjoy it. It's fun. It's fun sometimes. For real. But hey, if they want to tank their game and suicide the franchise and get as much money as they can off microtransactions and other shit, by all means, go for it. I'm not spending a single fucking COD point dollar on this game if they think they're going to get their money out of me for their fuckery that they're putting out in this black market and all the shit they're pulling behind the scenes that people are noticing and they're just acting like we're invisible as a community. And that's a whole fucking bunch of weight on our chest because you think that people who play this game and support it would like they would be able to like meet up in the middle with us just slightly but they're really really dumbing this game down to making it simple for new players because they're gonna start taking advantage of kids that's it it's really it it's a little tim you can get a score streak now his gunship and shit like that he just has to run zero he just has to read the description box that says can hack everybody's score streaks and use them as your own. Simple as that, man. It's fucking trash. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's my opinion on this, man. It's not really much of an MX9 video, but it's at the same time, it's a video I feel necessary to uh, upload because it's it's pathetic. It's pathetic work on Treyarch's end and their developers and a whole bunch of shit, dude. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to release into the game, but. <laughs> If you're that person, man, we don't like you around these parts. Have a good night, everyone. Hopefully everybody is uh, not enjoying this update as much as I am. If you guys are, leave a comment. Peace.